think we're now doing the other motion, aren't we? Yeah. Government Business, Notice of Motion Number 1, standing in the name of the Minister for Families and Social Services, exemption of bills from the cut-off. Senator Payne. Uh, thank you, Mr President. I move the motion. question is Senator Gallagher. Uh, thank you, Mr President. Look, um, I just rise to speak briefly on this motion. Uh, I note that the government is seeking to exempt 20 bills uh, from the cut-off, uh, and the opposition uh, is seeking to um, assist the government with what appears to be a, a mismanagement of their program largely, that we've got this last-minute rush of bills coming uh, before the chamber. and I think you'll find our preparedness to cooperate is, is quite reasonable. There is one bill on that list of 20 bills, the Social Security Administration Amendment Continuation of Cashless we Welfare Bill 2020, that the opposition does not support. Uh, we do not support the bill, and I'll go to the reasons um, uh, why, because they are linked uh, to this motion that the government has put. We do not believe um, this is a, in any way a, a good bill. We have opposed it in every forum uh, possible, and, we, um, and by having it as part of this list, and we are not able to support it because by doing so we would be complicit in bringing this bill on into this chamber where we know the government is desperate to get it passed and is placing pressure on the crossbench uh, to support it. There is absolutely no reason why this bill needs to be rushed through. The government has another bill that has been in this place for 12 months should they wish to extend the trial sites um, in, in the areas where the cashless debit card is currently operating. So we don't accept the government's view that it must be dealt with uh, this week. Um, there is another alternative for the government uh, and one that is quite reasonable and wouldn't require this uh, procedural uh, motion to get it through. I'll just make a couple of points about why we are so opposed to this. Um, one, after 13 years since the Howard government's intervention in the Northern Territory, there is no evidence that compulsory broad-based income management works. Uh, secondly, the minister decided to make the cashlet debit card trial permanent before reading the independent review that you commissioned, Minister, by Adelaide University and at great cost to the taxpayer, $2.5 million. But you've taken the decision before that. You've not published that Adelaide University study, uh, which you've commissioned, which makes us uh, suspicious around what that actual um, report has actually found and why the government is insisting on this being dealt with this week without the benefit of that information. Uh, the proposal is racially discriminatory, uh, as has been widely understood through the various uh, forums where this is being investigated. Approximately 68 per cent of the people impacted by this bill are First Nations Australians. And the government has failed to ad adequately consult affected communities, especially First Nations uh, communities. We are very concerned uh, at this. It's a very heavy-handed way, a budget, what, what's been passed off as a budget decision, but that has such significant consequence uh, for so many people. Um, the bill that we, the government is seeking to exempt is substantially the same um, as one already on the notice paper, which would allow the continuation of the trial. Um, this uh, second reading on this was adjourned on the 2nd of December 2019. So, given that that bill has effectively sat on the notice paper for 12 months without being debated by the government, we see absolutely no reason why this bill needs to be rushed through the Senate this week and accepted from the usual procedural processes that would allow senators to properly review and scrutinise the legislation before it's uh, potentially passed into law. Um, we don't believe the motives of the government um, are fair. Uh, we think this is all about putting pressure on the crossbench. Um, we do believe the Adelaide University report should be released before the Senate is required uh, to make such a massive decision as to make the cashless debit card which significantly affects First Nations community mandated across those trial sites and into the Northern Territory. I'll leave my comments there because I know many of my other colleagues, should we not be successful with this motion, will speak uh, should, the, should we be in the position uh, where um, this bill actually gets through. But I would urge those on the crossbench to consider supporting, um, well, asking, uh, supporting us when we ask that the question be separated. Um, and that we vote differently on that bill to the other 19 that we are prepared to exempt from the cut-off, 
um, because there's many, many uh, thousands of people around this country that rely on the Senate to do the right thing on this. And the right thing is not to allow this to be swept through in the last minute rush before Christmas uh, because this government's taken a budget decision um, rather than allowing the proper processes and the full evaluation of the trial sites to be provided to this chamber to consider before we're asked to cast our vote on it. Senator Seawood. The Greens were uh, also asking that the Social Security Administration Amendment continuation of the Cashless Welfare Bill 2020 be uh, voted on separately because we certainly will not be supporting this being rushed through this place. This is a continuation of a punitive, a punitive discriminatory approach which on income management, which was first foisted onto the Northern Territory, and to make matters worse, continuation of the uh, uh, intervention in 2007 through converting the basics card to the cashless debit card, moving people onto the cashless debit card, but it also entrenches the four so-called trial sites, which those of us that have opposed this from the beginning pointed out when the government moved to establish these trials in the first place, that they were never intended as trials. I'm glad that senators on, in the opposition, uh, benches, on the opposition benches have finally realised that these were never meant to be trials, that these were always meant to be permanent and are now opposing them. We had less than half a day to consider this legislation that impacts on so many people in this country. Less than half a day because we simply did not have time in the short time that was made available for the inquiry to hold a broader hearing. This has implications for thousands and thousands of Australians on the, ba on the um, basics card in the Northern Territory and in Cape York and for those that are on the cashless welfare stroke debit card in the trial, so-called trial sites around this country. This is about continuing this government's punitive, discriminatory approach to those that are on income support. There's no evidence that it works. There wasn't, I might add, the f first five years after the intervention when it was extended. There wasn't the evidence then. There's not the evidence now. There was evidence that came out very clearly, in fact, in 2014 that showed it met none of its objectives in the Northern Territory. That's the government's evidence. None of the other so-called evaluations have proved their point because they are flawed. And the government obviously thinks the evaluation, that the, the next one that they've paid for, isn't going to demonstrate that it works. In fact, the cat was let out of the bag yesterday in The Guardian where it showed that there's little support for extending the cashless debit card in the goldfields, because it was just that slip snippet that we saw yesterday in The Guardian was about the goldfields trial, so that there isn't the support to continue the card as it operates now. So it's very clear why the government isn't releasing the, the evaluation, because this isn't based on evidence on what works. It's based on ideology, pure and simple Ideolo ideology, which seeks to control people's the way they spend their money, which, team, which seeks to, because they think they have the right, to control people's income support. Well, controlling the way that people use their money does not achieve the objectives, because there's workarounds, there's all sorts of things. It has not reduced and it has not dealt with the underlying causes of drug and alcohol addiction, which the government claims that they are addressing. This is a flawed approach. The government doesn't have the evidence that it works. It wants to rush it through and make this and make the card permanent. And there's other people on those benches across from us that actually want to make this rolled out across the country. This is just a stepping stone to try and roll out the cashless debit card across the country. We know what the agenda is. 
and we will vote against this card every single time, including the government trying to exempt and rush through this place this punitive, discriminatory card. Yeah.